Hi, Will from Music Tech here at the Summer Nam Show in Nashville, Tennessee with Eric from Locomotive Audio. Eric, how are you doing? I'm good, Will. How are you doing? Really great, actually. Really great. It's good to see you again. It's been a while. It has been a while, actually. Two years. Two, two whole years. And in that time, you've been doing some weird stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, the copper line, I've never, I've never seen anything do what that does. Can you explain what it is and why so it does it? So we are introducing the copper line today. And what it does is it changes the voltage, the phantom power voltage that goes to the microphone. It's variable voltage phantom power. So we can go all the way from 52 volts all the way down to nine volts in steps. Why? Uh, I, I don't know, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but you could do it, so you, you did. You, so you could do it. Basically, it, uh, it interacts with the microphone and it changes the way the microphone responds. So you, you, your, your frequency response changes, your transient response changes, your signal to noise ratio changes, the uh, amount of output changes, everything changes about these microphones. And every microphone's different, so they will all respond differently. Some of them will work at nine volts, some of them will be completely dead at nine volts. So uh, it's up to the user to find what microphones work best with it, but it's a coloration device. So it's, you can turn uh, microphones you have already into give them different sounds, basically. Exactly, like you could take a FET 47 and drop it down to 40 or 24 volts and you get a completely different sound out of it. It might sound uh, a little bit more, um, a little, little bit more fuzzy, you know? Sure. Yeah. You say that the, the noise floor changes, the frequency response changes, the, um, the signal to noise changes. Right, everything changes. Is that usually for the worse? Well, if you ask a microphone manufacturer, probably yes, because <laughs> I've had a couple of them walk by and they're like, why would you want to do that to my microphone? <laughs> and I said, because, I mean, as audio engineers, we're, we're tink we like to tinker, right? Yeah. So why would somebody want to take a, uh, a guitar amp and turn the voltage down on that? Well, because it breaks up quicker. And a lot of people do that. So the same thing can be said with a microphone. So it's, it's a new way of uh, getting a little bit more out of your microphone and uh, getting some more versatility, you know? And uh, I noticed there's another switch on there that says Vibe Vint, sorry. Yes, the Vintage Load. Yeah, the Vintage, vintage Load, yeah. Okay. What's that about? So this whole device is basically a Swiss Army knife for for whatever. You can, you can inter interface it with line level devices or just mics. Mm -hmm. So what this does is uh, the vintage load basically will load down your the output of whatever device is in front of it. So if you have an old school uh, line level device like a Pultec or a old uh, 1176 that need a 600 ohm load, switch it in and then it's there instead of having to put your own resistors in there, you know, mm -hmm. a like a lot of people have to do. So, and not to mention, it also will color your source. Sure, right, You know, it loads it down more. You can use it on a microphone. If you, if you, if your microphone's going into a high impedance load, you can load it down right there. Mm. And so this goes up to 52 volts, 52 right? 52 volts, yeah, you, so. Why do you go beyond the, the regular 48? What's so the thinking uh, there? Uh, the standard for phantom voltage is 48 volts plus or minus four volts. Right, okay. So 44 to 52 is our range. And that's kind of like where they have capped it off. And that's where, it, I guess, you know, everybody agrees that they're gonna build their mics to those specs. But, uh, so why not give it the extra, you know, four volts to get to 52? Um, it does give it a tiny bit more headroom and a little bit more output, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, um, and how much will it cost and when will it be available? So this should be available this fall, mm -hmm. um, all things going well, and I'm hoping to have it in at about 750 US dollars. Okay, yeah. right, so that's breathing new life into mics you already have, new character for 750, right? Absolutely, thank awesome. you. Awesome, thank you very much. All right, thank you. Cheers. Yeah! <laughs>